see if this is actually even working, buddy boy. Red Pill Racing. We got baby Finn awake late at night. Acting all fuzzy. Let's see if he can hold out. He was just crying for mama. So we might would have had to take him downstairs. But I just don't know what to say to see, buddy. Yeah. You gonna need your mama? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, looks like we are live though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we live? We are live. Mm -hmm. What you doing, crazy boy? Well, nobody's here yet. <gasps> but maybe they will be. Mr. Clayman, what is up, brother? There is one person here. James Clayman. We're going to finally crack open. Super fast lasers and the Stucker and the Cadillac. What do you think, baby Finn? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you're making it. Glad that uh, Corona ain't got you, bud. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Maybe we should do it on this table. We're gonna spin this camera around here. Stand up, buddy. Oh, it's not all the way ready for this situation, but you know it's live YouTube. Miss Finn, what's up, boy? Yeah. Yeah, no 5G in the ghetto. <laughs> Clayman, do you have one of these caddies? Let's check it out, baby Finn. There it is. What you think, dude? Is it gonna be fast? Yeah. Yeah? What about the stalker? Is it gonna be fast? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's find out. You know, I like these boxed ones better. MBG, Skynet. Yeah, you know they got seven million drones that they just put into action here recently. Don't think they ain't broadcasting something. But oh, Big Daddy. Check out Big Daddy. We know. Usually got to get some uh, work done to them wheels before they start kicking in. Didn't have a laser wheels version of that stalker, only the starburst wheels. So, the stalker is wide. I've got a lot of them in the starburst wheels. Didn't have one or laser wheels. Mr. 100 proof. Look at that. We got nothing but elite. Hold on before we get any further. This broadcast is not intended for the use of children. Anyone 13 years or older. I would recommend older because there's going to be some bad language. Bam. One of the ones I wanted the most. Pick this bad boy up for 10 bucks. Sweet. But I'm hoping he's going to be some bad motherfucker. There's only bad motherfucking builders in here right now. Claiming MBG, myself, and the future of diecast racing. Beef in. Yeah. Beef in is the man. <laughs> yeah, I don't sleep either. Once, once you don't sleep for a while, you kind of get used to it, huh? What do you think, Beef in? Ma. Ma, that's what you think? I think Finn's getting sleepy. Hey, Clement, did you see the uh, live feed last night? Yeah. Mm-mm. Might have to put you on hold, baby. Finn's trying to get to Mama. Mama? 
You want me to take you to mama? Yeah. All right. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to have to run him downstairs real quick. So, just stand here. Stand by. Bye-bye. Uh, Baby Finn said bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna put on some fantastic conspiracy music for everybody to listen to. Let me see how quickly I can make this happen. Yeah. Be right back. track no graphite and we're gonna see what they're gonna do didn't need to erase these things for a while you did see a FTE straight pipes yes sir sure enough all right let's do this thing stalker both of these cars actually would go in the same list here at Red Pill Racing for fast stock cars. That would be the very nondescript American made list. Alright, I'm gonna say these cars are gonna run about a 216 out of the package. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. 2135 out the pack. Not too bad for that laser wheels stalker. There's my guy, custom LED. <clears throat> Mr. Joey Clemens. Everyone, Mr. Joey Clemens. There we go. Just cracked these two new laser wheels out the box. Cadillac Adelante and the Stalker. I haven't had any of these in laser wheels before. Hard to find. 2135 for the Stalker in the first pass. Cadillac 2155. Race two. Yeah, I thought that was kind of fast and fluky. There we go. So. Not what I expected. Didn't weigh these bad boys yet, though. But we're going to do a little live work on them. See if I can set this tripod back up. Hopefully I can get even get through this video. Because if baby Finn don't stay in bed, Daddy Red Pill going to have to go back and get him. Wifey is tired. So, you know, it's just what it is sometimes. See if we can get this back on. Boom, got it. Look at me. Look at me go. Boom. 
I need all them damn Cheetos, sir. I will kick you off my channel you try to get them Cheetos. That is not okay. Talking about Cheetos stealing. Wheeling, dealing, Cheetos stealing. Take a good look at those claiming they coming to the sub 4A. I can't be, man, this thing is not, I thought it was black. It's got kind of a, a greenish black tint. That's interesting. I need to weigh these things up too. I have no clue what they weigh. Good guess. The stalker. Weighing in at 48.4. Hmm. And the Cadillac. 41.5 lightweight. Lightweight. Cheetos. One of the best ways to keep your immunity up. Cheetos. If you're gonna have Cheetos, you need the gigantic drink to go with it. Good stuff. But let's get these things graphite up. I don't need my little board. But whatever. Claiming you've seen these yet? See them wheels claiming? I know you need some of those. This is the new. Ion Motors Thresher with the black retro slots. How about that shit? Craziness. All right, get a little graphite on these bad boys. Shit, I need something for them to race against. Very important on these laser wheels. You gotta get up between the body and the wheels. It's actually a pretty big contact point. That is, it is cool and it is classic. Indeed, indeed. Uh, you can graphite the hell out of the axles, but if you don't get this part back here in the back, right there, right in there, you are not getting everything you can get out of it. Yeah, you know they're, uh, <laughs> this is what really tells you that this virus thing is bullshit. They are starting to ban gardening products and seeds from being sown. What the total fuck? We're fucking everybody. The world is over. We're never going back to how we were. I hope you enjoyed it. Because it is done, son. It's a wrap. Everybody going to be getting their mandatory test to see if they've had the COVID and collect everybody's DNA. So, ready for that. Everybody going to get their little nanobot technology put all up in them. So, we'll be constantly tied into the grid whether we want to be or not because it's going to be a part of us. Welcome to the motherfucking Matrix. Transhumanist agenda bullshit. But that's what it is. It's over. It's a wrap. You're right. They don't they don't want any information out there claiming. They'll let you post some fucking Bullshit for sale on their uh, marketplace, like a twelve thousand dollar electric car that they're saying you can order for three hundred bucks. 
with every review online saying it's a scam, that's fine. But don't post nothing about a fucking natural cure for something. That's not cool. That doesn't go along with their plan. Now, what would that? Would I like for the Q plan to be true? And yeah, Math is looking at that a little bit. That would be badass. Do I think it's even possible? Hell, fuck no. I very seriously doubt it. I had to add a latte. It took a little more work than I thought. Bad boy did not want to smooth out. At all. Brush him off a little bit. Looking ready to roll now. With my roll dogs. And I think we probably should. We should just go take over Cuba. They're claiming. It's a good idea. I think we need something bigger than Cuba though. Maybe we should go to like uh, New Zealand. Maybe, maybe we should go to New Zealand, take it over, and yeah, just make it a giant country with crazy exotic animals with pouch babies and die cast racing. That's pretty much it. Pouch babies and die cast. Start our YouTube channel now. Pouch babies and die cast. But you know, everybody's just fucking sleepwalking through this shit. The doctors are talking about it's not what they're being told. They're not like regular pneumonia patients. The patients that are showing up, is it 5G? I don't know. I don't know. Wish I did know. You know what's hilarious? Mathis in Mexico. In Mexico is empty. They all came here, but uh, I heard a story today. Mexico is not letting Americans come in. Ah, that's hilarious. So they got their borders closed. Not letting Americans come in. That's crazy. Crazy. Oh no. Two nights in a Row with a live stream both nights showing my graphite technique and I'm showing this top secret recipe I'm using here it's the hobby lube or is it just a hobby lube tube I don't know well I know but you don't know get it down in there press it in the hubs Gotta get it in or it ain't doing no good. And that, my friend, applies to a lot of things. Right, let's see how these compare to your wheel spin earlier there. Looking like an inside view on a CD player. Laser disc. Bam. I need to get two more cars to race. Let's get some Hot Wheels to race against them. Yeah, no, we ain't doing all that. Let's I don't want to commit to it. I'm not very committed right now if that matters or not. I'm just not doing it. Whatever. Let's take this secret red pill dust over here. Give me a few Cheetos. Yeah, when you get a good set of wheels, they got a sound. They got a different kind of sound that they make. All right, claiming. See if we can take this off tripod without making everybody seasick. It's a new tripod here. It's a little bit better than the old, but
Obviously, I'm not that good at it. But whatever. What? I'm just gonna leave it on the tripod and pick it up. Cause that seems to make more sense. All right. I'm working on a Fairmont right now, claiming you'll have to see it when it's done. All right. 2155 and 53 for that one. This one was a 35 and a 68, I think. Pretty dust. What's it going to be now? Everything's ready. Let's do it. Wow. 2077. And a 2085, a 77 is quick. Shit, 85 is quick. But that 77 is <laughs> real quick. I did not expect it to be that fast. Unfortunately for them, the uh, box that they got a challenge to get in the list is the one with Fairmont, so. Race two. 2070s both times. Crazy. I guess we're going to have a list race real quick. Might as well. Might as fucking well. Let's get these bad boys out of here. Go grab that list. That box. get some Cheetos. I've got my Starburst too, at least a stocker. Dang that quick. It's them box laser wheel stuff. Hmm. I found this today too. It's a cool car. Charger Daytona Treasure Hunt. Sweet little car. I like it. Alright. See if we can raise it up. Let me show you what these motherfuckers gotta compete against. Definitely the toughest list on Red Pill's uh, stock collection. No doubt. There's the first time in a long time not a Fairmont in first. First and second. Marauders. About that. So that's the list. American Made Speed at Red Pill stock. Notice something about it? Almost every one of them, Gold Holland, set for number eight. That's that Daytona that I did a mail call race on not too long ago. So. Old Dirty Fairmont. It's, it's nasty, that's for sure. So, I think that Fairmont might kick his ass if I clean it up a little bit. And the dirt's holding it back. So we're going to start with the number 8 car. And we're going to try to do it like this. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. One way to go. I'm going to take this down. I ain't trying to do no editing video. Stand by. If he 
you get seasick, don't watch for a minute. Because this is all live one one man show. If I can not only do races with one person, edited, I can do live YouTube programming as well. Let's see. Is it guaranteed not to make you seasick? Hell no. Sure ain't. We're going to have to go down a little bit more. But we're going to get there. We're going to make it just fine. Now we got it. A view from the big end. There we go. We'll start out with number eight. Right there. Boom. They told her he's gonna race the caddy. Twenty seventy nine for the caddy to twenty eighty one for the Starburst. Caddy got a jump, but the uh, Daytona was running him down. Caddy's gonna have to get another one. Just move up on the list. Put it back there. Swap him up. Two, they totally don't want. Mm, I think Dona just had to up a 2072 to a 2083. Drag his ass. Drag his ass. We'll run it one more time. We're going to average this if we don't get a winner. Twenty seventy five to seventy six. Caddy got that one. So if the Daytona wins by more than one one thousand, that's a wrap, son. Race for Freddy. Here we go. Hmm. So he's fast. He ain't quite that fast. I can drop him down the list a little bit. Because he can't outrun the Daytona. Daytona holds his spot. Since he couldn't do that, I guess we're going to have to see if he can make it on the list at all. He's going to race against the gatekeeper, Fairmont. Number 14. Around him at 2073. 
One one thousand. It's a twenty eighty seven for the Cadillac and a twenty eighty six for the Fairmont. Oh, not that far. So we're gonna do it again. When you get up to a point of having so many fast cars, breaking into the list can be a pain in the ass. These cars are so freaking close. It can go back and forth over and over again. Man, lane two just gets a hell of a run. A 2079 to an 87. Cadillac wins by eight one thousandths. Got to keep that in mind for averages. Dropping cars like old Joey Clemens over here. as Fairmont's out off the list. Heck, that Fairmont getting knocked off the list means that now that there are less Fairmonts on the list in the top 14. Now there are only six Fairmonts. Next up, a Fairmont. Let's go to Kevin has got for him. Do this rare to hit a 50s or 60s. The uh, car mine that won every pass was under 2060, but I don't have any other cars that can do that. The only one. I had two others, they both got damaged. Caddy a 2070 to an 85. Doing splits no more. We going off averages. Gotta move this along. All right, moving up the list. He's battling the number twelve car on the list, which is guess what? It's a Fairmont Black Twenty Seven. Let's roll them. Been running weird lately. Seems like one's getting a jump, two's got the big end. Let's go. 2081 to a 2082 Cadillac takes it. That's wild. 2051 to 2052 in that last race. Now, Joey, he's slacking now. My uh, Hurricane Camaro has ran. Stabilize the top of the track up there. My Hurricane Camaro's ran a 2023. There we go. Cadillac on the big end, 2075 to 76. 2023 is my fastest time I've seen on here. And that's insane. Turn his TV on. Then we can get comments playing up there. That'd be 
so much easier. The Blue Knight. This car can be fast. It can be real fast. A little bit of fire there, sir. Blue Knight in one. Wheels caddy into. I don't like the view. We we picking it up. Bam, back to red pill style. Plus, I like to make sure you can hear. Here we go. Smoked. This might be where that Cadillac stops. Right here. I didn't even look at the difference, like nine one thousand. So I think I don't think he's got nothing for the the bird. There we go. And then he does. Ain't that some shit? So I think it's a tie on averages. I don't remember, but it was close. We're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another live feed going along into the night. Boom. Boom. Caddy in one. Blue night in two. Mm, he came back on the big end and got him. Got him. 2079 to 81. We're going to swap him. But two 1000s. Comes down to this. He has made it on the list though, so that's cool, that's fun. It makes me happy. I didn't think he'd be the fastest car, but hell, he's on the list. And that's where he stops. Remember Blue Knight made a big run at the end there. Shut him down. So that's where he stops. But now we're gonna let him try to fend off that bad boy right there. It is a fast convertible. That might be my fastest convertible, actually. I mean, I guess technically he could go in a NASCAR box. But we're gonna run him right here because I got it out. I'm pretty sure all the stalkers. Well, it's a mix between the two, actually. Here we go. Ta. How about that? If the Blue Knight wins this one, Nash Carlos. You right? Hey, also American made. I mean, technically, I could put uh, Corvettes, Mustangs, Camaros on this list, too, but they got their own. Here we go. Oh, the stalker drove around him, takes the spot. Takes the spot. So, what does that mean? That means a lot. That means that today we've had two... Fairmonts, both, you can tell by the orange circles, veterans of diecast 64, off the list. Crazy. And we got a laser wheel stalker going for number 10. It's the old beat up metal flake, Murata. Things can be beast. I mean, I need to race that one. It might be the fastest car 
in the world. I don't know. Might be a dud. Might be a monster. Right now we gotta race that one though. Stalker. Marotta Stalker. And just Stalker. Let's go. Stalker got him. Swap him up. They are, they can be. I mean, really, it just comes down to uh, if they have just the perfect round, smooth, balanced wheel, so. Drove around him, look at that. Moving up the list. I do have to say, though, uh, my experience is higher percentage of faster cars in the laser wheels box the box is the way the box that's what I mean the box not the package the box the package the box that's right claiming the box all right here we go number nine it's that old Morgan Shepherd Wood Brothers Ford against the Stalker. Drove around him 2072 to an 81. Things are only getting faster. Nine one thousandths. Pretty big gap. I think you got it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 20. 69. That's crazy. Car's getting faster, breaking him in. Move him up to nine. Can I race that Daytona? Look at the kid shit right there. Spilled my graphite on the floor. And threw some broccoli down. Terrible. Who wastes broccoli? Babies. Only babies. Stalker. Daytona. I've probably got 10 of those Daytonas. All of them are just not elite. Except for this one. Couldn't run him down. 75 to a 77. He tried though. This uh, this thing runs so quiet down the track. Quiet. It's a process breaking them in. That's for sure. You can have a car that can just be you know, kind of outside of your list or your fastest cars, and then all of a sudden one day it'll run a pass and just light up. Got him tying this one. He won the first one. And then every pass after that, he's just unbeatable. I mean, it can also go the other way, though. Have a crazy fast car that just dies on you. Number seven is the Red It Out Fairmont. They do. I know me and... Me and Mr. James Clayman's talked about it before. You can break them in racing, but the fastest cars you're gonna find are the ones that were played with like toys and not bent and broken that way. Here we go. Mm. 75 to 85. Slow run for the stalker. Can't mess around. Can't mess around. It's too high up in the list for a bad run like that. Lost by one one hundredth. That's ten one thousandths. Crystal skull, just like that. Here we go. Fairmont drove around him. And the laser wheels did not perform. 
so he's ending it right there. But even making it on that list is incredible. Making it to number eight, really incredible. And I'll probably work on him a little bit more and get him on up this list. See if he can break that top seven Murata Fairmont lockdown. And I actually got two other Fairmonts over there I need to run. But I ain't doing that today. Uh, let's see. Um, let's do this one, one more thing. Then I'm getting off of here. We ain't doing it too long tonight. Let's see. Back to the tripod. Boom. I got a couple cards I don't really even know. Picked up the Hero City matchbox at a Planet Fun for a dollar twenty-five. A little toy store around here. Oh, you want to see some lead pouring? Not today, sir. I do need it. I should do that, though. I grabbed this card just because I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was a Porsche when I grabbed it, but just kind of saw it, snatched it up, threw it in my box. And what about in 50 states matchbox? Let me see what I got for that. So, I thought that was the Porsche. Not a Porsche. It's actually a 360 Spider. And I need something for it to race. And since Clayman said 50 states, which one you want? New Mexico, Arizona. You want that Virginia? You see that main truck? Or. Florida Camaro. Who should have raced with the Ferrari? Ohio. No, Ohio, sir. I probably will do that Charger race just because. You said, man, it is. You were the first one. Been wanting to crack that thing too. It looks heavy. The lobster on the side. Put all these back. We ain't doing no list racing unless something's crazy fast. There's that Ferrari crack. Main time. Looking like a rip off of a red lobster logo on the side of it. Looking like Bobby D over here ripping cars open. Bobby D. Nobody watches Bobby D. You're missing out on some Bobby D. Johnny Lightning fanboy action. Look at that. It's a good looking old truck, man. Good looking truck. Get that wheel spin. Terrible. Feels heavy though. And you know how the magic dust will bring them to life, so we gotta find out. First, we can weigh this Ferrari out. A weird Ferrari. Convertible. Thirty-eight point three grams. Basically nothing. Then the truck is going to weigh a lot more than that. Damn. Look at that. 67 grams of monster. I didn't think it was that much. 67.7. Check it. 
tank's heavy. I knew it looked a little beefy. Felt a little beefy. I was wrong. It's very beefy. Get some, uh, let's get one pass with no graphite. I just need to know. Need to know. Need to see what's going to happen. All right, resetting all this up. So we're just going to do a little cheesy recording here for the pre graphite run. Chalkboard says nothing. All right, here we go. How does a 68 gram truck run a 2.229? That Ferrari dragged his ass at 31 grams. Terrible. Did I say terrible? Fucking terrible. Alright, let's get this graphite box out real quick. 2229. Same routine as always between the wheel and the body. Real quick rub down. Well, this is the abbreviated version that I would normally do, but basically it's the same version, just not as many times. I just run this Ferrari against that gold Ferrari F40 I got sitting up there. Not bad wheel spin on the thing. I might turn a decent time. Might bust that uh, dash for cash. Cash F40's ass. I don't know. Probably not. It's not bad for an old matchbox there. Not too damn bad at all, actually. I ain't wheel swapping it, but I bet you I can get it a lot faster. I bet you I can get this car under 2.1. Hmm. Kind of wide. That might be the problem. Might have the Voxer problem. side of the wheels too. Reduce that friction. Let's see what it will do. It ran a 2.29. They are wobbly. Off balance. Dude, that F40 is not bad, I'm telling you. Running a 2.0 anything is pretty decent. 2.0 it ran in that 208s a couple times. Not bad at all, really. I mean, them F40s are consistent. They're good ripping racers for sure. But if you're watching uh, uh, the elite bunch of stock cars race, you won't see an F40 winning. You just won't. You'll see laser wheels. You'll see maybe a funny car or two slip in there. Uh, but 
you're going to see a lot of gold hot ones. It's just what it is. After some work. It's going to be way better. I did not, sir. Did not camber my wheels. I'm guessing you did. Because you've been kind of disappointing me out there claiming. Disappointing. I mean, I expect more out of you, sir. I like 308. It's my fastest uh, Ferrari I got. It's 308. It's a heavy beast. I think my second fastest one is actually a gold medal speed Testarossa. Which is crazy called. It's uh, a lot lighter than the other cars on that list. Alright, uh, it's going to be a lot better performance here. Faster, will it be last? Red pill racing. All right, I think my fastest Ferrari actually is probably hanging on the wall. Probably that bad motherfucker right there. Just hadn't, hadn't cracked it yet. Look at that starburst stalker. Getting them staged. Main truck's gonna be in two. There's another underrated car right there. A Torino Flying Customs. It's fast. Alright, here we go. We lined up. Timers are set. People would stop right there with those cars and say, well, that's a pretty good car, but if I'm really wanting to get it faster, the next thing you got to do is you get to just look a little bit closer. Oh, you did the negative positive. So you put the old battery set up on them, huh? Negative and positive. Mm-hmm. Next we go and look for the rough edges on the wheels. Look at that. That is a speed killer. I'm actually gonna fix this real quick. Not not all the way. But we're gonna fix it a little bit. And how are we gonna fix it? The only way you can fix it, which is annoying, but it just is what you got to do sometimes. We're going to take a look here. A hammer will fix the problem. You will not have to do anything else to that car again. That's a fact. That's not how we gonna do it. I'm just gonna take a piece of 400, piece of 800 sandpaper. We gonna find them spots real quick. We gonna knock them down. I know if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. I find it right there. All you want to do, find that spot, you don't want to dig into it, you don't want to be real light and easy, easy.
of course, this is an abbreviated way to do it. There is a way to do the whole thing. That's right. Happy little wheels. So we'll take and find them. All the spots. Ooh, that one's kind of bad, actually. Just want to knock the shine off. Just knock the shine off. Make the wheels happy. You actually will still be able to see it, but hopefully you can knock that rough spot off. And this, you can, shit, you can spend an hour easily on a car doing this the right way. But. We're going to do the abbreviated live on Red Pill Racing YouTube channel way. Which is just like this. And you find the fourth one. It's a little defect from the casting. This is 400 grit sandpaper I'm starting with. So the problem is, when you do this, you're going to give it a little bit of friction added. So that's why you can't just leave it. Four hundred's gone. Step up to the eight. I could for sure. Well, I do care though, Clayman. I do care. So I'm not going to wiggle him in there like that. I care. I care about being a winner. And I care about sharing some speed tips with my boys. I would say my girls, but... I don't think I have any female subscribers, so that would just be my boys. Only girls I'm sharing my speed tips with Dragon Claw, Stella Beans, and the Wheels of Fire. All oh, seeds of the red pill. Apparently Baby Finn was ready to go to bed because I hadn't got a message from his mama saying get your ass back downstairs. Get this baby. So there's that. I mean, seconds not bad. I'm I'm okay with seconds sometimes. I mean, sometimes I'm okay with knocked out in the first round because you ain't got no choice. Sometimes you just draw a bad matchup. Sometimes your car sucks. Sometimes they get damaged in the mail. Going to Utah every time, and only there. Go ahead and do this because I know this is boring to watch. But I gotta grab some thousand grit. I can't with any kind of conscience run it after 800. And I think League of Speed says he stops at a thousand. I don't, because I take things way further than they need to be sometimes. It's okay. Because sometimes, it's just what needs to happen, homie. So, I'm going to stand up and do this, because I can't squat down that long, because my legs will break. Scissors, because this is annoying me. 
Where's my scissors? Do 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 do. good pair of trauma shears handy just in case there's a trauma or you need to cut how's my focus belt sander <laughs> yeah that's dot cat 64 the difference maybe I don't know if it'll pick it up or not this wheel a little more shine back after the thousand so we're gonna get these back real good you don't need to see it we'll just talk some shit while we finish this um The joy of painting. Not really a painter. Although I wouldn't mind being a good painter. Good painter would make my cars look pretty. I could probably ship them out to uh, Dave Akers. Get some of that custom Dave Akers painting done. West Coast classic shit. It does good work. Cool dioramas. If for, just remember... If it wasn't from Dave Akers, it was definitely from somebody else. Or so I've heard. That's what they say. And by they, I mean Rhino. But he also says other things that turn out not to be. So, you know. Like, leave me feedback, but. Apparently, it was only supposed to be, like, sweet feedback. Delicate feedback. Fucking SJ Dub feedback. Like, positive feedback. Let's do that. I just, I hate that, I hate that Devers and Mathis are not out there racing anymore. It's just not going to be as fun. When it's just me against claiming in his battery terminal setup on his cars, camber in, camber out, positive and negative. I really was expecting them uh, monies to come out there and start cutting some ass claiming. Now watch if I do all this and this car still runs the same time or worse. Nobody's ever going to watch my channel again. And that's fine. If nobody watches my channel. People going to stop getting faster and then it'll just be me innovating speed. He was talking about governors earlier there. Uh, Joey, when you did your live stream about that governor right there I know you ain't got one of those cause that is a stretched out governor on a zoom in base oh my bad grand nationals so close so close there's that regular governor right there this is that undefeated circuit race champion governor right there and 
This is a customized Robbie Comfort Diecast 64 Governor that he lost to me in a pink race. I'm, uh, I got a pretty good record in pinks races. Every now and then, you are a hipster claiming so hip, so stir. <laughs> I don't know if I call you a hipster. You're a pretty cool cat, though. In the most weird way, of course. I have a problem with going along with what people say. Just because it's what people say. I have to understand why about things. I don't just take people's word for shit. Which apparently makes you a conspiracy theorist. Mm -hmm. Fucking weirdos. How dare you question what people tell you. You just believe shit or you're fucking weird. Fucking weirdo. Look at that. Governors. 16 shoe boxes. Beatles. Gotta get some of those too. Don't you need one of those, Joey? Uh, nobody has. Only me. I'm the only one. What about Egyptians? Uh, only thing I know for sure about Egyptians is uh, that their characters on TV. Never been to Egypt. Don't know if it's even a place. I assume it probably is if I had to bet. I have no evidence to suggest there is no Egypt, but I can't prove there is at this point. Here we go. Yeah, 21.05. <sighs> you know, whatever. Uh, could be Stargate. I mean, honestly, could be claiming. Could be. I do believe that the ancient people knew how to do some shit that we didn't know how to do. Ain't no doubt. Stargates? Maybe. Maybe so. I just don't know. Anyway, 2105. Not a... Not really much of an improvement at all, but... It is a big improvement from that 2230 or whatever the hell it ran at the beginning, so... I'll probably spend a little more time on it. I mean, it's worth a little more time. It's almost 70 grams. Why not? Only problem is it's a Ford. You can only make them go so fast. Jokes, jokes. That's mainly for you, Nick Beavers. I know you're, like, yelling right now somewhere. Probably for your wife to get you something. I don't know. Hi, can you get me a brother? Sleepless delirium has kicked in. Um, I don't know. That's about it, I guess. That's about it for this feed. So what's that self-aware? Ah, uh, I don't know. When did the Matrix come out? It was, a. Uh, it was 2008 is when I woke up, I believe. I woke up to the reality of the world. Uh, Something like that. Uh, that's probably about when it happened. Uh, I know the last time there was a bug race, I think somebody named uh, Something Proof Racing one. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, no, it was after that. 08 is when I started realizing shit was fucked up. Claiming. So the blue race team bugs are fast, huh? I got two of those over there on the wall. I don't know that I've ever raced one before. I'm not those. Which one's fast? The black walls? Or the not black walls? I'm gonna say the bottom one is the faster one, probably. 
Dude, what I really think is this whole fucking world we live in is fake. There's no way. No way it's real. Impossible. Impossible, sir. Too much bullshit that they pull off for it to be real. I do have some sweet gold Pablo Mendez bugs are slow. I don't know you, Pablo Mendez, but I like you already. <laughs> bugs suck. Well, I guess I can show you a little something, something real quick on the zoom ins. If you're gonna stretch a zoom in, a car onto a zoom in like the Mad Catter, for example. I bet you it don't run a high, to, what, 2.0 something out the box? You think it'll run a 2.0 something if I crack that bug? Is that what you're saying, Built? I think you're insane. I'll bet you some cars that that don't happen. We'll make it interesting right now. Oh, Pablo's the man. I ain't been racing that long, Mr. Pablo. But I ain't never had no damn bug worth a shit. Uh, actually, I do have one of these that's decent. But, I mean, you put it up against any of these cars, fucking smoked. Welcome aboard, Mr. Mendez. I know there's a lot of racing in the Rico. Oh, I do have one fast boat, you are right. Man, I can't find Tiger Wheels around here. Dude, I would love to, I would love to race out there one time. I'd love to send that bad boy down there. That would be awesome. I'd love to race at some of you guys' tracks. That would be the coolest thing. Shoot me some information, man. Uh, find Red Pill Racing on Facebook. My name is actually Frank. You'll find me on there. Uh, let me know how to get you some stuff. We'll get in contact. I'd love to, if y'all video races, race against you boys. I <laughs> get them claiming. Hey, we can set up a little grudge match. Hey, uh, Pablo, are you, uh, if you watch 3D Botmaker, are you joining the Puerto Rican influx over there? Alright, now I guess that fastest car that's raced so far on King of the Mountain was a a Puerto Rican racer, I don't remember his name. Shoot, might have been you, I don't know. Man, I wish I had room for that, uh, for a longer setup. All I got is the, uh, 16 foot 8 in the bonus room, which I usually spend almost as much time cleaning this shit up after kids are in here for a day as I do get to race and Tiger Wheels vans is what I'd like to have a few of but I've tried the oil and this oil actually doesn't do too bad not bad at all Policia and the police is probably watching this video right now. Wondering what the hell Red Pill's talking about. Because that's what the hell they do. Worry about other people's shit. Let's look at these mods, see if there's... I've, seen, I've talked to a couple guys and seen the different stuff y'all run over there with oils. Man, you oil the shit out of everything. Kind of like we graphite the shit out of everything. Where's that one bug that I got that's fast? There it is. That's a fast bug. Hey, Joey Clemens, who built that car? Can anybody tell me? 
Yeah, that's that's why I don't like oil to get stick. Collects dust, dirt, debris. Yep, that's that boxer. I got a couple of his from Pink's races. I think he raced two Pink's races with us. And I own both of those cars. Look at that easy wheel spin on that bad boy. Yes, you did. You took Boxer out with that car right there. The legendary green Eclipse. Two years in a row, untouched at Diecast Racer X. And the only reason I got that bad boy, where's my car that beat it? This is at the Bayou City Raceplex in Houston, Texas. And where is my car? Hmm. So many mods. So many mods. I just don't see it. Where the hell's my, my three... 70. Mm, well, that's kind of concerning. I'm not sure where that is. Hmm. Well, that's not fun at all. So I really don't see it. All right, we're going to run this bug one time. You, you snuck in here and got it. That's interesting. It's, uh, it's also dangerous. You could have died. And I don't want you to die, Clayman. Then who would we race? Hmm. Oh fuck, I don't know where it is. I don't know. So, since I don't see that, I guess we'll race this fastest stock car. Um, man, it goes back and forth, honestly. I've got a Laser Wheels 300Z that's right there. I've got a Laser Wheels IROC that's right there. A Fairmont that's right up at the top. No fresh dust. No fresh dust. Um, I'm trying to think what else I got this real fast. It depends on the track too, man. You know, some cars fast on short runs, some on long runs. Uh, one that's tough on long runs is that uh, man, that John Force ain't shit. I got 50 cars that'll outrun John, my fastest John Force. It's uh. I probably got 10 or 12 those pro circuit fucking dragsters. Maybe 15, I don't know. They are overrated. All right, let's just run these two. There's that piney outrageous and that James Clayman bug. Sorry, Clayman. That bug sucks. Outrageous wasn't that great either. Probably should have lubed him. That was kind of shameful. Shameful. Might be why I had this thing hid, because it sucks. I really want to know what the hell happened to my damn Nissan, though. No. Hmm. Interesting. Have to hunt that thing down. I don't know where it could be though. Um, uh, John Force he's talking about is that Pro Circuit funny car, John Force. I'll show you one. Hold up. Let's see. Um, where my drag race cars at? There's a box with some in it. Uh, what's your fastest stock there? 
Yeah, King Kenny. That was the two that came in. Actually, there's some right there. Are two models of Pro Circuit Funny Cars. And no doubt they can be quick. The King Kenny's. Pro Circuit Wheels. Circuit is just like Terry Hill and the Heavy, except for those were California Customs. And that's the John Forrest. Yep. It's just a random box. I'll show you my fastest. Funny car list, at least, real quick. I said I was going to end this video 15 minutes ago. But I start talking about some racing. These are my fastest boxes right here Hot Rods, Camaros, Trucks, Street Beast, Character Cars, GT. That's like a Le Mans type shit. Vans. Some of these lists were from when I first started, and I don't even know what's on them. Porsche Corvettes, NASCAR, Supras, all kinds of shit. Alright, here we go. Who knows, Rhino's on his own schedule, bruh. And look at that. My custom red pill sponge has been squished to hell. Go. There's that list. Fastest red pill funny cars. Which is kind of a weird list. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Wonder whose car that was. I don't know. But the fastest funny car I have right now is that bad boy. Who's laughing now, huh? Does it say on the front? Not so funny car. I've never even seen a Tiger Wheels funny car. And look, actually I do have a John Force on the list. It is number three. And crazy enough, number four is that old Plymouth. Black walls. Crazy. Then we got the Pro Circuit King Kenny at number five and six. Got that old number three. Look at that Bonneville. Splatter paint. Is that another King Kenny? I mean, another John Force. Yep. And you can't really beat these bad boys in the ripping race. So, that's it. That's my list. I don't know what that one's from. Not so funny car. Is that in that? Is that in that pack I got over there? That thing I need to race next? Maybe. Let me look and see. Which I got it for a whole different reason. And that was thanks to your nightmare racing. Talking about how it's the fastest funny car ever. I think it might be in that pack. Let's look. <clears throat> I think these are pretty cool little sets, actually. We'll check them out real quick. That American style. I like that Monty. Got that one that's loose. That's pretty nice. And... Actually, it's not. Only because your nightmare said that hot stuff funny car is the fastest one. It is all a crapshoot. You're right. It's all based on luck of the draw off the line, off the assembly line. But I would like to get these bad boys out and raced at some point before uh, they completely shut down the world and. 
uh, worked out into the great fucking black box computer controls our brains and we outlawed from racing die cats forever. Huh. Vinny, is that what he's in now? He drives for me. Is it, was it you that sent in his cars? I don't know. I got a new driver joining soon to one of these bad boys. Ain't gonna tell you which one. I'm still trying to get that Stella Beans car faster or I would have sent them out yesterday. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who the driver is, Mark D. I can't tell you. He's been at Sub 4 RA since the beginning of his NASCAR racing. But he's been struggling to make races. And he also has a YouTube channel. But you will see soon enough, sir. Because he will hopefully be in that red pill owned car very soon. Very soon. If it's not at the next race, it'll be the one after, so. Find out soon. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Castillo is already, already on the red pill team, man. He's driving that red pill car. It's a him. Shit, if you're watching here, I'm just going to say Julius Harris. Julius Harris is going to be in a red pill bill car. Y'all going to be the only ones that know it's coming. Uh, Ken Castillo, I think, finished second or third. I think he finished third in points last year in that red pill car. But he is getting a new car because his axles broke loose after a year and a half. So he'll be getting a new one soon. But yeah, that's who it is. Julius Harris getting a red pill car. So that'll be interesting. See how that goes. I'm trying to build myself a little surprise to come out there too, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I got to go to bed. Stuff to do tomorrow. Save the world from the fucking coronavirus and shit. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching, tuning in, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Mr. Mendez, send me some information, man. I'd love to send a car down there to race with you boys. Me and Clemen. Me and Clemen will get down there. Mr. Mathis, get down there. We'll see what we got against you boys. I guess we have to oil them up, though. We'll have to see. But that'd be fun. Be fun stuff. I'd like to connect with some new guys. Maybe y'all can send something out here and challenge the hill at Red Pill. If not... You know, whatever, it's all fun. I appreciate you tuning in. Red Pill is gonna be out. Appreciate it, guys.